Hey guys, it's Effect Red, uh, bringing you another World of Tanks replay. I'm in my Yag Panther 2 today, and we are on Fjords. So, let's get this thing started. If I can hit the right button, speed this up. Sorry if you can hear my cat meowing in the background. I uh, can't really do anything about that. I'm gonna slow it down as I get into my position over here by this rock. Start off the game kind of slow. Um, I start getting more aggressive the uh, farther into the game that we go, which is really how it should be. So, first people spotted an IS-8 and a T-21. Centurion 7 one over there is already taking some damage. ST, uh, STI, ST-1, whatever you want to call it, uh, coming, going down there. I put a shot into him. It hits him, but I do not believe it uh, did any damage. I start driving over here to see if I can get a shot on the IS-8, realize that I'm going to be really, really exposed to the people on the other side of the map, see a KV-5 over there, and uh, back off, um, still spotted, but uh, yeah, back off, notice him now, and he's sitting side on to me, so I just open fire on him, I do 480 damage to him, he backs off, I don't have another shot on him. S that STI has managed to um, go down into the, the dip in the ground there, and there's a T25 slash 2 over there. I don't really aim, I just kind of fire, see if I can hit him. Didn't work. The STI is coming around to put a shot into the VK. The, the people on the hill over there have pushed up. That Centurion, I get a good shot into him. Well, it was a low roll, but I got a shot into him, take it, took him down. I should have backed off here, but I didn't, and I paid for it. Take 410 damage hit from him, damages my engine. The KV-3 rolls out into the open. I put one good one into him, back off. Yet again, a low roll. T-25 slash 2, I reload, but he dies before I can fire the gun and kill him. The, those guys down in the bowl there, they're pretty screwed. Um, they've lost all their backup and all their tanks are just getting picked off one by one. T-30 over there, he starts backing up and I overlead the shot. And it probably wouldn't have hit him anyways, so... You know. Yeah, and then the next shot I, I reload and I fire again. And this one just bounces off his turret. Bad angle. Lots of armor, not enough pin. At this point, I start uh, moving forward to get shots into these guys. That STI is retreating back. I pull far enough over the edge to fire one into the back of his tank. Yet again, a low roll. I back off. He's starting to turn around. I I reload just in time to put one into the side of his turret, which it's which is kind of surprising that it pinned. Now this could have been a really dumb thing to do, that's a century and 7-1, that's the best player on their team. I uh, go down there to start try or to try and finish him off. Go around this corner, I'm going about 50-ish. He sees me, tracks me, I fire and miss. If that M103 wasn't there, I would probably have died. So thank you Mr. M103 for saving my life there. That T-30 is about to die. He just put one into my platoon mate up there. But he's about to get hit by a whole bunch of crap. It's going to get lit on fire too. Most of their other tanks are on the other side of the map from where we are. And so yeah. Now there's... They could still pull this back if their other players were any good. That T-30 is on fire as you can see. Uh, he's going to burn to death and get shot by that M103. This VK over here has been at the back of the map pretty much the entire game, or that's where he was just spotted at anyways. So, we have a pretty large number of people defending our base, so we're not too worried about them capping it out. The first shot I make on this guy was a pretty poor one. I should have just waited for him to fire, then went over, but I aimed for the that commander's hatch and just missed it entirely. I go a little bit outside here so that he's not focused on me. 
he doesn't have enough gun depression to get shot twice, fires into the ground, so I'd use this as my opportunity to go over, and I, he turns his side to me, and I put one right into his side. I then turn to engage this KV-5, uh, he bounces one off of me. I hit him for 526, bringing my damage total up to 334, and I reload and finish him off. And this one's pretty much over, there's the really low health D-75 and the artillery, I'm going to speed it up. I'm going down this way to flank around to get around the artillery because I can see where he's at. This ISH coming around from the side, he's getting pincered and has really nowhere to go. I pull up here. He could have shot me, but I doubt it would have hit me, and I kill him. So yeah, that was a pretty good game I had in my uh, Yag Panther 2. Um, 4,318 damage game. Not bad. Let's uh, check out the stats. Okay, so from that last battle, we made 56,962 credits, 2,386 XP. We did the most damage on our team, got the most XP on our team, had, came out of it with 4 kills. Fired 16 shots, 11 of them hit, 10 penetrated, 4,318 damage, only received 3 hits, 2, of, uh, two penetrated, one non-penetration, I think only one of them actually did damage. We uh, came out of that after expenses with 34 with 34k, and yeah, so that was a pretty good game I had in my Yak Panther 2. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time.